In this step, let's look at another web layer pattern which is called the composite view. This is a to-do application that we have developed as part of our Spring MVC application. If you look at this particular piece of page, it has a header, a footer which you cannot really see and typically web applications also have a navigation and probably something on the right side as well. They have a specific layout. However, today the world is moving more and more towards responsive applications. That basically means if let's say we are showing this page in a mobile application, I mean uh, somebody is launching up this website in a mobile, the layout you want to render there is very different. So you don't want the header to come out this way. Probably you would want a header in a different way, the footer in a different way, the menu on a different way and the content also might be in a different way. So the way you lay out your application, I mean application page would be different in a mobile compared to how you lay out lay it out in a web. So the layout is pretty dynamic. So any view contains now two different parts. One is the content, the actual content which I want to show. The second is the layout. Composite view pattern is about separating the layout from the actual content. In composite view, we create a composite view with multiple atomic sub views. So when I'm using the composite view pattern, the way I would build this page is by using a single page where I have a header, a footer, the content, navigation, everything in there. And each of these I can dynamically modify. I can say this is the header, this is the footer, and this is the thing. The way we achieve this in a way, I mean, this is not really the perfect way of implementing this. The way we achieve this in our Spring MVC implementation of the to-do application is we have a common.header.jspf, navigation.jspf, and a common.footer.jspf. So the real content is the only thing which is present in the actual JSP, and the remaining things are in common files. And you can add if conditions around it. If it's a mobile, then show this header. If it's a mob, if it's something else, then show this header. Then this code becomes very, very difficult to manage. And that's where frameworks like tiles, site mesh come into picture. In frameworks like tiles and site mesh, you can configure what, how the different views should be. So all that you say is this is the actual content and tiles would take care of seeing if it's a mobile application or if it's a different thing and it would render a different layout for that particular user. And that's where the composite view pattern comes into picture. So basically in a composite view pattern, the application would just say, this is the content to show. And the rest of the layout, what should be the header, the navigation, the footer, everything would be decided by the composite view framework, which can be either be a styles site mesh or might be a custom implementation of your own. This helps in managing the layout independent of the content.